All right, what's going on, guys? This is Sona64, and this commentary is going to be a little more topic-driven. This is actually going to be about sodas and artificial sugar. I guess is actually the topic: fake sugar versus, well, fake sugar. Any, anyways, I've been watching like the news, and they, PepsiCo, I believe it is is replacing their fake sugar or artificial sugar in Diet Pepsi. Uh, I think it's aspartame is what's in there right now and they're replacing it with Splenda or Sucralose. And, you know, it didn't really bother me, but I work at a grocery store, so, you know, I just figured, uh, I guess I'll look it up, you know. Um, they said their sales have been dropping for a while, so they took some feedback from some people, and, and apparently people said that they don't like aspartame. Apparently, it's worse than Splenda. So please put Splenda in our diet Pepsi and take out the aspartame. And PepsiCo is going to do that. But I thought I'd look it up just to have like my facts checked, so I'm not just like yeah, and just like you know jump behind the crowd and go replace it, replace it. And the thing is, I did look it up, and while Sucralose or Splenda is a little bit better. I don't know if a if little bit better is the proper term. I don't know about a little bit better. I think it's it's here and there. Like, there are things wrong with Splenda. Like, I looked it up, and they said that they to make Splenda or Sucralose or whatever they're going to put into Diet Pepsi, they need to split Sucralose. Or, I'm sorry, they need to split regular sugar and replace it with chlorine and I mean when I stopped and read that I was like well, chlorine like the stuff that is in pools that depletes bacteria I mean is that what they're putting in the stuff that we consume in our bodies chlorine and you don't you're not really supposed to drink soda a lot or diet soda so obviously within a long period of time if you drink a lot of it the chlorine builds up in your system and causes problems and it just stopped, I stopped after that I stopped reading because the way I see it is people are always gonna complain people are always gonna say oh this is healthier than this you should you should change this and make this healthier so I can consume it because I feel like it will be better for me and my children and the future of the world and humans but we lasted for like so long and we're multiplying incredibly fast. We're, there's more people on Earth now than there were like a thousand years ago. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know how, what the percentage is, but we have a lot more people. I think it had mostly to do with like the 1930s and 1940s during like the baby boom when people were just f having sex a lot and just reproducing at a really high rate. And also condoms probably didn't exist back in the day, so that's probably what happened. It was like, it was a depression, you know? People were sad, and a great way to make people happy is to fuck. Anyways, I've stopped and thought about it, and at the end of the day, we're all gonna die. I mean, if we're not dying from soda or diet Pepsi that has Splenda in it, we're gonna die in a car crash, or we're gonna get shot, or we're gonna die of old age, or we're gonna die at 85, or a heart attack, or we're gonna die when we're five, we all eventually die. I mean, I guess if you're five, you probably don't understand what I'm saying that well. So, all this is probably going over your head. All you want is the next Hot Wheels toy or Barbie. Actually, that's what kids back in my day wanted. I'm not sure what kids at five now want. I'm sure it's mature to something different, but the point is... All this talk of change this, change that, make us healthier. You know, I could go in my job and find one to two things on every single item that you can consume that's bad for you. And that most people would say, hey, you know, that's unhealthy. And this is more healthier than this. And this is more healthier than this. But at the end of the day, it's like, we're all going to die some way. Some way, somehow. We're all just going to perish and burn and die. Well, we might not burn. I think bad people burn, if you believe in the Bible. 
I'm not really sure about how all that stuff works, but if you're bad, you burn, if you believe in the Bible. And if you don't believe in the Bible, um, I think you just die. I like the idea of just dying. I don't, I don't want to burn after I die. So I don't believe in, in that stuff, because that way I don't burn. But I don't want to die worried about how I'm going to die, because I know I'm going to die. Eventually, I'm going to die. You're going to die. We're all going to die. And why should we really care? I mean, there are things wrong with Aspartame as well, which is why they want to change it. But there are things wrong with Sucralose or Splenda as well, too. And chlorine is a pretty big deal. But you're not really supposed to drink soda that much anyway. So Splenda wouldn't really be a big deal. But then, if you don't really drink it that much, then aspartame wouldn't really be a big deal. Which means, this shouldn't even be a story. PepsiCo shouldn't even care. But they do, because people sit around and complain. And I feel like that's what it's been over the last two to three years. It's just people complaining about things. And things changing, because people complain. There's nothing wrong with complaining. I'm all about complaining for, like, an important cause. Like, gay marriage in America or $15 an hour minimum wage, which people are, are actually still complaining about, and we might actually get there, but one step at a time, guys, come on. Anyway, I'm all behind people complaining about things that actually make a difference in our everyday lives, but something as little as, like, diet soda... I mean, I don't even know too many people who actually drink diet soda. I mean, if you're going to drink something healthy, you're going to do, like... Sparkling water. Sparkling water is actually pretty healthy, and it tastes good, and it tastes like soda, but it's not soda. It's water. Carbonated water. I'm sure you can also find some bad things with carbonated water, too. There are some not-so-good things that are in carbonated water, but people are going to argue. It's healthier. I'm going to argue. It's healthier, but like I said, what? who cares? You know? Who cares? Well... Besides people that care, obviously. Those people care. But it's ridiculous. It's like, come on. Let's just get over this. Let's let's just live. Let's focus more on things that are more important. Because this whole, oh, they complained about aspartame, so we need to change it, you know? I mean, I think, obviously, it's all for, like, more sales. But it's like these people, they're, they're sitting here, they're complaining about aspartame and they're diet Pepsi because it's gonna kill them and sucralose also has similar effects over a long period of time the same way aspartame does so I think that at the end of the day it just comes down to you know how much you consume just consume less you know it's not like one can of diet Pepsi is gonna kill you Wh whether it has aspartame or sucralose one can of diet Pepsi is not gonna kill you You'll be fine. But there's always going to be people in America and I guess in other countries that are going to say, hey, this needs to change because it'll make us live longer. Like, you're going to die eventually. Thanks for watching, guys, and listening to me rant about something not video game related, which is weird for me. But I've done it before, so. Um, if you guys like this, you know, let me know. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.